share the same room. Cool, baby. Where will I be sleeping if he gets lucky? My God. Will his staff be living with us as well? Luckily, I soon realised the suite is bigger than I thought. He's kind of in that wing, and here's my bit over here, which I'll show you now. It's pretty good. There's my bed. Now I'm going to be, like, ten feet away from Mitch Buchanan, Michael Knight, sleeping. Our night begins, but to get to our restaurant, we have to walk through the casino, and a mob is gathering. Hoff mania has begun, and I've been swept up in the mayhem. Dude, what's happening? How could you possibly win here? We're late for dinner. We need to go right that way. I told him, just walk straight on, but he can't stop talking to people. Oh, wait, I have something for her. <laughs> You're going to give her a shirt? Yes. I feel awkward when it's when it's like this because you don't feel that you're getting anything of him at all. Whereas when earlier I was in the car with him having a one-to-one, -one, it was absolutely fine. But now he's in full-on Hasselhoff mode. You haven't got a chance. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas, baby. Thanks. OK. We're having dinner at the aptly named Hofbrau House, a German theme bar, which is a favourite hangout of David's. As we arrive, he is instantly surrounded by fans. In here, David is worshipped like a god. There's no denying it. He loves it. He's a warm person. He responds to people and they respond to him. There's no one who gets a reaction like David does. It's extraordinary. This is the most crazy thing I've ever seen, literally. 500 people, as you can see. Every... Just one man just turning up unannounced can do this. They absolutely love him. Caught up in the moment, he decides to relive the year he sang to nearly a million people at the Berlin Wall. Oh, my God. I'm going to need some security here to get these guys away from me. He's going to do his song. The irony of the situation is that we're in a German pub full of Americans who would never buy his music, and they're cheering him to the rafters. Many claim his performance put the crowd in such a frenzy that they tore the wall down. David doesn't wait for anyone. When he's had enough, he leaves fast. You can't hang around. All right, thanks, I'm totally exhausted, but the Hoff wagon rolls on. Now we're meeting Jeremy Jackson, who played his son Hobie in Baywatch. We um, had an 11-year relationship together on Baywatch, and now we're in business together, doing cool. shows, so it's fun. So what's the plan? What's we plan? support each other. Oh, we got a cracking club inside. We got tons of people hanging out, girls, you know, DJs going, everything's good, everything's ready. All right, let's do it. Las Vegas, here he comes! He's organized a party, and the Hoff is the guest of honor. He was this big when I hired him. <laughs> Jeremy's got a special surprise for us. We climb up to the decks. And the DJ plays Knight Rider. David throws himself into the dance floor like he's 25. After dragging me up on a podium, suddenly I turn round and Hoff's gone. I've only had two hours sleep in the last two days and I'm exhausted. I know David is too. I'm nervous as I know he gets cranky when tired, so I decide to stay clear tonight and get a room down the hall. Just woken up. I don't know what time it is. Oof. 
not feeling the best. There's been a problem at the studio, so David's up early and is on the phone to the record producers. I'm trying to keep the girls together. They love each other, and, you know, I don't want to sacrifice the beauty of the song or the best thing we can get, but... I'm still having really good fun. It's just I'm a bit tired today. Scott! Scott? Yeah, sure. Living with your idol, occasionally, right. I managed to sneak into my room, but I'm nervous about entering back into Hoff world because if David's not in the right mood, he can blow at any second. Oh, I had a, just, I had a little difficult night. I ended up having a chat with my daughter, who was not happy with the recording session. And it was very difficult for me because she was crying. I'm not good when girls cry. That's why I stayed married for a long time. God, I don't know what's going to happen, but let's go and try and see where he's at and what mood he's in today. Hello. Hi, Joe. And, uh, he's expecting you, so be out any moment. Amazing. Okay, cool. That Hofbrau place was crazy. Hi. So what's the deal? What? You're supposed to be living with me, and I'm just wondering why you broke the rules. Because Did you I... find a chick? No. But I thought you could come in all the way from uh, to live with your. I won't say the word idol because that's kind of stupid. But like your friend. I know, David, but I. Well, then I'm going to come to London, and I'm going to go to a different radio station. Because no, it's do not that. fair. Okay, sorry. Have I annoyed you? Uh, well, part of the deal was, you know, I needed your, I needed some advice last night. Oh, really? Yeah. And I wasn't there. You weren't there. Sorry. <laughs> I want to know, I want, I want to find out a bit more about, like, you know, because it's all like the half, the half, the half all the time. I think that people want to know more about, you know, like, just David. Well, I think you're getting uh, kind of a dose of it now. I'm overly sensitive. Not about... I'm sensitive of, I mean, I, sometimes I, I say, well, that, I don't let, let the press bother me and stuff like that. I think but it does bother you. The day I got my custody of my children, they said I went to, to a bar and it was thrown out because I was drunk. Blatant lies. And my daughters said, Dad, you got no choice because if the judge sees this, we're out. You're going to lose custody of us. So we had, we had to say. And they, would, they wouldn't have wanted that at all. It, it took a year, but... People would kill to have bad press like I get. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd like to do is maybe come in today with, you know, Taylor when she comes in and just have the same conversation that we just had because, you know, and then and just talk it out so that everybody can be uh, happy. Your parents have been together for... Oh, no, they're not together now. Oh, mm. no. Well, so that was... Was that difficult Years for you? Ago. Um, yeah, at the time. Were you young? Yeah, I was, oh. co- I was like probably 13, 14. So did you stay with your mom or your dad? My mom. As we head back to Los Angeles, at last I feel I'm making a real connection with David and I realise that our family situations are very similar. I'm feeling that we're spending more time together and we're just chatting about normal stuff now and I just feel that maybe, maybe uh, David's guard is, is, is let down a little bit in, in a good way. Doesn't get any better than this, huh? I'm, I'm getting to know the real David Hasselhoff, and that's, that's what I really want. That's, that's the purpose of this. Despite the lack of sleep and the earlier reprimand, we're starting to relax in each other's company. 